Fix Windows Update Error 0, X, 800F081F Solution 1. Run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Right-click the Start Menu button and click Settings. Go to Update and Security. Click Troubleshoot. Then, select additional troubleshooters Under the Get Up and Running section, select Windows Update Click Run the Troubleshooter The troubleshooter will scan the service for issues and apply fixes automatically Solution 2. Enable Microsoft.NET Framework using Command Prompt. Right-click Start and select Apps and Features. At the top right of the window, select Programs and Features. In the resulting Programs and Features window, click Turn Windows Features On or Off. Find .NET Framework 3.5 and .NET Framework 4.8. Uncheck the boxes next to them, and click OK. Click Restart now. After restarting your PC, go back to the Turn Windows Features On or Off window. Check the boxes next to .NET Framework 3.5 and .NET Framework 4.8 and click OK. Then click the Let Windows Update Download the Files for You option. Click Close once the requested changes have been completed. Then, hold down Windows plus R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in CMD in the dialog box, and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys, to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in dism slash online slash enable feature slash feature name colon net fx3 slash all, and hit the Enter key. You can copy this command from our article linked in the video description, Close the command prompt, and try updating Windows. Solution 3. Run the System File Checker Scan. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open the Run dialog. Type in CMD in the Run text box, and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in sfc slash scan now, and hit the enter key to start the scan. Once the scan has been completed, restart your PC and try updating Windows. Solution 4. Run the deployment image and servicing management scan. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open the run dialog. Type in CMD in the Run text box, and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health, and hit the Enter key. This parameter will scan the component store for corruption. Then type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and hit the enter key. Once the process has been completed, try updating Windows. 
Solution 5. Configure the group policy setting. This solution won't work on Windows 10 Home Edition, since the Home Edition does not have the group policy editor. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open the Run dialog box. In the Run dialog box, type in gpedit.msc and click OK. In the left pane, navigate to Administrative Templates. Then, navigate to System. In the right pane, double-click Specify Settings for Optional Content Installation. At the top right of the window, tick the Enabled option. Then, mark the checkbox next to Download Repair Content and Options Features directly from Windows Update instead of Windows Server Update Services WSUS. Click Apply, and click OK to save the changes. Solution 6. Upgrade Windows 10 using the Media Creation Tool. Open your web browser, and go to Microsoft's Download Windows 10 web page. Once on the website, select Windows 10. Click Download Tool now to get the Media Creation Tool. Run the Media Creation Tool once it's been downloaded. Then, accept the license agreement. Make sure that the Upgrade This PC Now is ticked, and click Next. Then, accept the Windows 10 license agreement. You can opt to keep your personal files and apps, but if you want a clean installation of Windows 10, click the Change What to Keep button to customize the installation settings. Then, click Install and the setup will begin installing Windows 10. Take note that the installation will take some time, and your computer will restart several times throughout the installation. Thank you for watching.